Hello there viewers and welcome back to the series Extras. I am Gamer Sky. In this video, I am going to show you how to download and play 3DS games and its emulator. Currently, I am just downloaded Pokemon Y and Pokemon Ultra Moon. I started playing Pokemon Y, but for this video, I am going to show you the demo of Ultra Moon, how to download it, how to extract it, where to get the emulator and how to play it. So let's get started. First of all, go to your browser, anything, Chrome or UC. Just go to pokemoner.com website. As you can see, you get the heading of emulator. Click on that emulator. And just scroll down and get the access of emulators for Android. And I strictly prefer the first emulator, Citra Android MMJ, because the second one emulator is not working for some devices and they may work for smaller devices but for high graphic devices like mine I'm currently using Samsung Galaxy A50 so I prefer the first one the Citra Android MMJ just download that emulator the link is in the description so no problem for that after that come back and go into the 3DS and now you can download the game related to 3DS just look for the Citra emulator because the emulator which you downloaded is the Citra emulator not the Nintendo 3DS emulator so just you have to look for the Citra file I am looking for Ultra Moon which is related to Citra so as you can see there it is Ultra Moon 1.2 for Citra just click on it scroll down and there we go download Pokemon Ultra Moon for Citra version 1.2 Oh, this is the password is pokemoner.com but you don't want it because directly you can enter the game without pressing or dialing your password so just install this game I paste the link in the description so you can directly go towards the download page after clicking that I have given various games link in the description maybe you can try Ultra Sun Pokemon Y, Pokemon X, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, Sun and Moon if available, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon is available. So you can do that as well. After that, just come back and go into your download section and download the Citra MMJ Emulators APK. After that, you have to open your Citra Emulator and he wants you to give him a permission. Just allow that and just close the emulator. Don't do anything except allowing the permission. After allowing the permission, you have to download the Z Archiever app, which is available on the Play Store. Just install it and open the Z Archiever. Locate your download file of Pokemon Ultra Moon. In this case, there we go. And just click on it and extract here. It will take some time, so I'm skipping that part. So stay for two seconds. As you can see, the extracting is nearly completed, just 5% remaining. There you go, the extract is completed. Now you have to do, just click on it and multi-select. Now you have to select the Pokemon Ultra Moon file, no outline 3ds. And also thank you for downloading that HTML and just press the back button and click on this icon to cut. Then go to your device memory, go to your Citra emulator. This will this folder will not appear if you don't allow permission to Citra emulator. So first of all, open the emulator and allow the permission to the emulator. Then click here and just paste it. There you go, the paste is done. Just close it and open your emulator now. As you can see, Ultra Moon is located. If it's not located, just click on this plus button, click on the C tri emulator and click on OK. This will be done that way also. Now just open on your Pokemon Ultra Moon file. As you can see, we can select language, whichever we want. So I prefer English, of course.
There we go. Begin the game. Only one problem with this emulator is this emulator is very slow. So you have to be patient because I started playing Pokemon Y two days ago and now I'm currently in just Santalun city. I'm going to challenge the gym today. So it takes too much patience. You have much patience because I play half an hour daily and it that means it takes one hour for me to go towards the Sandalun city from Venable Town. So you can sense that it's much slow, not that much when you enter inside the building or talk to the person. But when you run the wild to catch a Pokemon or challenge trainers while running on the road, it's a very, very slow game. So you have to be patient. As you can see, we have FPS, VPS and speed is up right there. There we go. I'll just show you how it works. I'm not lying that is not going further from here it's going further from here as you can see it's working it's 100 percent working i'm not lying i already caught 16 pokemons in pokemon y so i'm just closing it so i hope you like this video and you enjoyed it and you started that pl playing this game as well but before ending this episode i just want to tell you that your device must be have high compatible because my friend is possessing galaxy j7 next and this game and this emulator is not working in his mobile but is working in my mobile so i prefer you to use a high compatible device so if you like this video then press that like button and if you are new to my channel click the subscribe button and comment down below if this work for you or not so i can help you through it goodbye